Hello friends, welcome to Frankenmuth, Michigan. If you've ever wondered what the oldest microbrewery in the United States is, well, right here it is. We're about to go in and try some beers in this fabulous brewery. It's been a brewery since 1862. Let's go check it out. Before I even get in the door, I'm being tempted by this incredible deal, $25 a case beer. They have plenty of it. Huge tasting room, and it's definitely a big part of it is a restaurant. They have a lot of beers, a lot of medal winning beers here. I'm sure which one. I'm gearing myself up for this brown, but I'll see if they have anything else. And the other side of the menu, full of other good looking beers. I changed my mind. I got the Bach Lager. It's a dark lager. Check that out. It's like, like very amber in color, huh? Mm. Smooth. Almost tastes like a nitro. Wow. It's a little rich, but just right. Wow. I've never had anything quite like that. I probably didn't get a chance to read it because I didn't show it that long, the description of the Detroit Amber, but this made an appearance in Gross Point Blank. Huh. Never saw that movie. Have to watch it. Excellent beer. Very smooth, a little malty. Excellent day. Hey friends, the bartenders here are awesome. They're awesome. They're very educational, talking to me about the bar and brewery. Brought me over some samples. This is a root beer sample. It's not very often you see a brewery with root beer. It's not hard to brew, but it contaminates your system. So you have to use one dedicated system for root beer, even the tap lines. Otherwise, everything that you pour out of those tap lines is going to taste a little bit like root beer, and nobody wants that. So it's it's rare, but they have it, and it is really good. Wow. And they also sell two scoops of ice cream for four dollars on the menu worth getting a root beer float or a beer float. <laughs> so good. I did order some food. I got the Reuben and coleslaw. Big place. Check out the view here. Wow. Really nice. Our kitchen's pretty big too. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Big patio area, nice. Here's their brew house. Don't look very big. We got some beers to go and a lot of swag. A lot of it. Cool. Frankenmuth. Awesome. Really like this place. Incredible, incredible location. The beer is excellent. The people are really cool. And the food was outstanding the place is great usually i don't like these breweries so much that are more of a restaurant but this is the oldest microbrewery in the country clearly they're focused a lot more on beer this is a great place i will succumb to the pressure i want to buy some beer i got two cases <laughs> this is cool right outside of the brewery is this informational placard you can scan this and learn some history about the building one of the gals that works here was telling me that Although they don't offer the tours of the original cellar now, this was a part of the original brewery. It's on display. It's way in the back of the property. Cool. I'm talking to some of the staff out here while I was buying the cases. They're letting me go into the fermentation area to check it out. Unfortunately, there's a part of this facility that I will not be able to show you. It's the original cellar for the, the brewery. This place has been sitting on the same spot for 
since it began back in 1862. But it was destroyed by a tornado back in like 2000 and changed ownership only three times over all that time. But they open up what was left of the brewery for tours sometimes, but not right now. But for now, oh, let's close. I have to, I have to get a key. Hey, thanks, man. Yep, no problem. Oh, this is killer. Nice. It's pretty cool they just let me wander around in here in their fermentation room by myself. This is really nice. Yeah, nice setup. It smells so good in this room. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at Frankenmuth Brewing Company in Frankenmuth, Michigan. A cool town, cool part of the world, beautiful brewery, great place, really love it. If you're in this area, the middle part of Michigan, definitely make your way over to Frankenmuth, Michigan's very first craft brewery for sure, and most people accept that it is the first microbrewery in the country. Friends, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I will see you at the next brewery. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at America's oldest microbrewery. Not to be confused with America's oldest brewery. This is how I rated them. I'm giving them a five for their beer. Excellent beer. Giving them a five for their staff. Everyone there was so kind and very knowledgeable. We had some great conversations. I'm giving them a four for the ambiance. It was a nice space, but it was very large. Seemed slightly commercial, but it was still very nice. I'm giving them a five for the location. Nice town. They had a lot of stuff going on there. And I'm giving them a five for the price. You can't beat $25 for a case of beer, and the regular prices were great. I'm also giving them three bonus points. They are kid-friendly. They have their own food. It was great. And... They are pet friendly. They have a large outdoor patio, which I'm sure you're able to bring your critter of choice. Altogether, they scored a 27. It's very high. I really enjoyed this brewery. If you are in Frankenmuth, pick up a beer and tell them your friend Dre sent you. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I appreciate it. I'll see you at the next brewery.